Hello and welcome to DAP Radar, your most trusted source for DAP data. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a MetaMask wallet to use the Thundercore blockchain. So just to point out, the uh, MetaMask wallet is designed for Ethereum um, and Thundercore is clearly not Ethereum. It is a totally separate blockchain. Um, but what you can do with MetaMask is you can actually create um, wallets for blockchains that use the EVM. Now, the EVM is the Ethereum virtual machine, and that's basically just the uh, way in which code runs on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, and any other blockchain can, if they want to, use this EVM technology, and that basically means um, any DAP that runs on Ethereum can very simply run on these other blockchains. Now, the blockchains are still totally different. So, you know, in this case, Ethereum is a, still a proof of work blockchain. Um, and uh, Thundercore uses a proof of stake consensus mechanic. So the consensus underneath the blockchain is totally different. The, con you know, the networks are totally different, but the code running on top is the same. And that's why we can use MetaMask um, to interact with Thundercore. And actually we can use MetaMask to um, interact with lots of um, similar EVM blockchains. So Binance Smart Chain and uh, Matic would be examples of other blockchains we, could, we can use uh, MetaMask for. Okay, so that's over with. So you can see here, um, I have uh, already set up my MetaMask. So this isn't a, a, a video about setting up MetaMask. I've set up MetaMask, um, and now I'm going to basically tell MetaMask how to interact with the uh, Thundercore uh, blockchain. So basically, to do that, it's pretty, it is pretty simple, but I just have to I have to add some settings. Okay, so I'm going to go up here, and we can see here, you know, the default option here is we have Ethereum mainnet and then some test nets. Actually, I've set up uh, my wallet to interact with the Binance Smart Chain um, here. Um, and now I'm going to uh, add a network and I'm going to add a, a custom uh, RPC. So I'm going to pull that up here. So obviously we need to be a bit careful. Um, so it's going to just warn us um, that, that uh, you know, make sure you're doing the right thing <laughs> um, and you're connecting to the right network. So I'm actually looking at the thundercore.com uh, website, which tells you how to do this. So... Um, we are going to uh, fill this in, and obviously we are going to uh, um, tell. Uh, I'm going to write in Thundercore here. So th some of these things don't matter, but this is just so this is just so we can see that it's Thundercore. Obviously, it'd be a bit stupid to put something else in. This is just for so so I can flip between wallets. Um, and the important one here is the, is the basically the URL. So this is the URL um, that I'm going to use to connect with the Thundercore blockchain. So that's there. Uh, the chain ID. Uh, is uh, so this chain ID says optional, um, and the block explorer um, is uh, uh, so the symbol is uh, TT. That's the Thundercore token, and the block explorer um, is H uh, S T T. So the block explorer is again just um, you don't need this, but this is if you if you ever want to tr check on a transaction that you've done. You know, has it gone through? Is it is it pending? Whatever. Um, this basically just takes you to the website where you can see what's going on on the Thundercore blockchain. So there we go. That, that's what I'm filling in here. So network name Thundercore. The new uh, the new URL um, to interact with the blockchain is mainnet rpc.thundercore.com. Chain ID. I say this is um, uh, is it, this is optional, um, but uh, uh, that's the number it tells me to put in. Um, currency symbol. So the TT token. Um, and then the block explorer so we can check uh, what's going on with any transactions. So there we go, just going to save that. Okay, um, so that's all saved in. I can check that and now I'm going to add the network. So there we go. So it should have a new network in there. And now we can see here um, when I, uh, I now have Thundercore in my dropdown. So I can flick between Ethereum mainnet and you can see here some, what's going on with my Ethereum wallet. I've um, got some ETH in there and got some other tokens. Um, we can have a look at the Binance, my Binance wallet. So I've got some BNB tokens in there and some other bits and bobs we've been messing around with. Um, um, and also I can now look at my Thundercore wallet. So obviously I've just set up a Thundercore wallet. So this is exactly the same when you set up, set up an Ethereum wallet. There's, there's nothing in there. <laughs> there's no TTs. Um, so in order to do anything on the, on the Thundercore uh, blockchain, uh, you will have to get some TT tokens in there. Um, so there are obviously the, 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 the most obvious way of doing that is to have some TT tokens on another in another wallet on an exchange maybe, and you can just um, kind of transfer them over. So if I if I um, uh, yeah if I had some, I could uh, <laughs> I could uh, kind of transfer them in. So the interesting thing here is is that the uh, and something to be a little bit careful about is is the wallet address here is 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 exactly the same as my Ethereum wallet address, and in fact exactly the same as my Binance Smart Chain. So you can see here the wallet address is not changing. Um, but the, uh, the, 
the wallet is attached to a totally different blockchain. So you have to be very careful. So if I if I sent my ETH um, from my Ethereum mainnet to the uh, my effectively to the Binance Smart Chain kind of wallet, which is the same address, it, it would get lost. Um, if I send any if I send any ETH related tokens, any ERC twenty tokens um, to my Binance Smart Chain wallet, they would be lost. Um, because it's, it's, it's that's the wrong block, blockchain, so you have to be a little bit careful about making sure you're sending the right token, uh, the right the, the tokens are of the right standard. It's particularly important for Binance Smart Chain um, because they have um, they have their own standard called the called the the uh, P -E, uh, excuse me the B E P twenty standard, and that's a different standard to the uh, Binance um, Exchange, which is and the Binance Chain, uh, which is the B B E P two standard. So you have to be a little bit careful when you're sending stuff around. Um, Whenever you're sending stuff, so if I wanted to send stuff to my um, Thundercore token, uh, uh, MetaMask wallet address, I would, at the beginning, I would only ever send, you know, a very small amount. So maybe send like one token just to make sure it, it goes through okay. Um, you know, don't go sending, you know, a million dollars worth because <laughs> you want to check it goes through. So send a very small amount through first um, to check it's going to the right, getting through to the wallet uh, before you start um, doing uh, anything more uh, expansive. So there we go. That was a pretty um, straightforward, I hope, um, video to how to set up um, a MetaMask for Thundercore. Um, in, in future videos, I'll start to um, show how to kind of move, uh, how, to, how to do things on the, on the Thundercore uh, blockchain, so interact with some of the dApps. So please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that, uh, but thanks for watching this video, and see you again soon.